February 27. <clears throat> the new roomies, the air partiers. <laughs> I don't mind. In fact, I, I like it. You know, since Vlad finished up working, it's 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 been it's been so quiet. Karen and Angus. Yeah, I, I met them this morning on the way in from the liquor store. They were just waking up. They moved in yesterday. Uh, I did hear them last night, but the sounds of them laughing and unpacking and jingling their silverware were such cool comfort against the, the rumblings coming through the floor from beside. All right. I listened to them till they fell asleep, comforted by the normalcy, the light banter, the odd dropped item that elicited a round of laughter, right? carefree. You can tell that they're young and in love and, and just experiencing that first glow of cohabitation, you know, the freedom of unfettered sex. Not, 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 last, light, not last night, they were, they were too tired and, and he fell asleep before her. So. <laughs> right. It is beautiful. Today's, today's meeting confirmed their buoyancy. They laughed at my, at my morning purchase. I laughed too. I was cool. I was fun. Right? I, I didn't offer them a drink for real, but the joke went over well. That's how I can tell they're my kind of people. I didn't know what to say about him, and it seemed too soon to talk about Angela. I just, I just couldn't, bear, couldn't bear thinking about it. I did ask about the room and made a joke about Vlad's workmanship. They laughed, though Angus kind of less brightly. I, I, I was quick to reassure them that it was a joke, that Vlad is a gentleman and would never impose himself on them. Right? They were appreciative of me and went, went back to unpacking. I, you know, I took a moment to stand outside his room, outside his door, and force my, my thoughts and my karma through it to him. These are good people, I said. They do not need you frightening them. I'm fine. I can take it. I am the enemy, not them. Young people in love, young people in lust. This is their time, not yours. And I will do everything I can to keep them from knowing the disturbance that you are, the malignance festering behind the door in the middle. I think you got me.